This comfortable electric train departs from the Adler railway station, taking only 27 minutes to carry its passengers into the mountains to the Olympic facilities at Krasnaya Polyana. The train will cover 48 kilometers of railway, which is currently under development. Nevertheless, even today we can see how this route will look in 2013. The city of Adler is situated on the right bank of the Mazimta River. The Imereti Valley lies on the left bank. Today they are connected via railway bridge. A junction with two new bridges will be built here, allowing trains and vehicles arriving from both banks to take the Olympic route. The route includes 48 kilometers of railway and road, primarily residing on the left bank of the Mazimta River. There are both single and double tracks, and the movement of the trains is controlled by the GLONASS satellite navigation system. The new parallel railway and road use the natural landscape to maximum efficiency, and the route along the river is constructed using overpasses, bridges, dikes and tunnels. The electric trains following this route are custom-built, specially developed by the Bombardier Company for the project. These are the Spatium trains, a reliable and convenient means of transport, going at up to 160 km per hour. The first tunnel complex is situated just past the 15th km and enables the route to divert from following the course of the river, which makes a loop here. The tunnels cover 2.4 kilometers. In this place, the railway and road pass as close to each other on the left bank of the Mazimta River as possible. Near the 23rd kilometer of railway stands a promontory tunnel of 117 meters long, while the road follows the landscape around and proceeds to the right bank. The third and longest tunnel complex is situated at the section from 23 to 28 kilometers and includes both railway and road tunnels of 4.1 kilometers each. Today, the only existing road lies on the right bank. The existing road is clearly insufficient to provide the necessary traffic capacity in the area. To reduce the obstruction of the river's natural course, the railway in this section is built primarily on overpasses. In places where the road passes close to the railway, special protective screens are installed to prevent the possible blinding of drivers. Other important sections of the track are also equipped with noise reduction screens. The 36th kilometer of railway passes under a promontory through the fourth tunnel complex of 450 meters long.
Bypassing the hydro power plant, the route proceeds to the fifth tunnel complex, situated at the 39th kilometer, which is around 2.8 kilometers long. At the 43rd kilometer, the train stops at the intermediate station of Esto Sadok. Having arrived here by train or by bus, passengers may proceed to the ski jump complex or take a bus to other Olympic facilities in this area. The railway then proceeds to the sixth and last tunnel complex, situated at the 45th kilometer. It is 425 meters long. The tunnel brings the road to its final destination, the Alpica Service Station, from where passengers may proceed to the sledge complex and the media village or take a bus to other Olympic facilities in this area. Russian railways have already begun construction. The project is due to be completed by 2013.